Hey YouTube, this is Dave, and today I'd like to talk to you about Cheapcast. This is an app that was developed today by Sebastian Maurer. And what it does is it turns your Android device into a Chromecast. Uh, this is great because then you don't have to go out and spend the money, hence the name Cheapcast. And what it does right now, currently, it just works with YouTube, and I think the Google Music app, uh, but Netflix uh, you can't do, and um, you can't send your tab from your Chrome browser on your desktop or even the Chrome browser desktop. You can't send it over to this app, but it's a start. At least we got something where we could send YouTube videos from one device to another device, Android. Unfortunately, it doesn't work with iOS either. Uh, iOS won't uh, recognize the Android tablet, but that's okay because I have a different app that you can use that you can actually AirPlay your video from your iOS device on multiple apps and send it over to the tablet. Also, I'm going to show you how to change your user agent using an extension in Chrome. And this user agent will allow you to stream internet uh, mobile only streaming services. Uh, and, you know, your Chrome browser desktop will think it's a mobile device and it will allow you to stream that media. So let's get started. Uh, one other thing I like to mention is if you're in the market to buy a, a Chromecast, you really don't have to buy it if you're a Google TV owner. Google TV has Chromecast built right in. So I just want to mention that in case you know you were thinking about getting it and you already have a Google TV. So go ahead and cast away right to your Google TV. So let's get started now by showing you, showing you my Kindle Fire uh, HD. And I have some apps on here that I want you to take a look at. So first things first, I have Airtight. And Airtight is what's going to allow you to AirPlay uh, iOS over to your tablet, just like this Cheapcast does. Uh, also, I have installed Cheapcast, obviously, and I have my Chrome browser, and I have Chromecast app, which allows you to configure your Chromecast dongle. And also, we have, um, obviously, we have Netflix, and we have YouTube. And there's also an app called RemoteCast, and RemoteCast just puts all those casting apps into one app. Let me show you that real quick. So if you open up RemoteCast, it's nice because it puts everything in one place, and uh, it's pretty much shortcuts to uh, all the services that use casting. So let's go back, and now let's open up our new Cheapcast app. So if we open that up right there. You'll see that first you're met with this screen here. And what you need to do is you need to change the name of your friendly name. I named this one Kindle Fire uh, Cheapcast or Chromecast. And I set it so that when I restart my tablet, uh, it will start up automatically. And that's pretty much it. And all you have to do is hit Start Services, and it'll start broadcasting outwards. So now we're going to give it a try on the Chrome desktop browser. So we'll go to a YouTube video of mine, and we'll start to play it there. Now, up in the corner here, you have your casting extension, and down here we have the service uh, running. So once we skip this annoying ad, we're going to send it over to our casting device. So we're going to cast it right onto our tablet. And there it is, using the cheap cast. No, unfortunately, you have no way of stopping uh, the video from the tablet, but if you pause it on here, it will pause out on the tablet. So that works pretty good, and I know it works well with uh, Android mobile to Android mobile. Uh, in other words, a phone to a tablet or a tablet to tablet, and that works nice. So there, we have it working there, but unfortunately, it does not work with Netflix, because when you start to play a video, uh, you don't get a option to just change it over, uh, you know, to casting. So we won't even bother playing with that. So we'll just come out of that. And uh, you see that there's no casting button. Okay. And then uh, obviously that's cheap cast. So definitely nice thing to use. Uh, the other thing I wanted to talk to you about was uh, shows that only stream on mobile devices. So see here, if you put the same link uh, for iStreamNet.net, uh, onto a browser on your desktop, you'll get a blog because that website recognizes that you're using a computer and 
the service was intended for mobile devices. So here I have an extension in Chrome, uh, and this extension is called User Agent Switcher for Chrome. Uh, you can get that on the extent, uh, Chrome Store. So basically, if you just hit the left mouse button, uh, you just move on down to whatever user agent you want to change to. So I'll change it to like iOS and an iPad. Okay. Now it's still going to be there. So let's just now close it out. And you see that it has like a little mask there, a little mask marauder there. So we're going to just cancel it out and we'll reload the page up. Now watch the difference between the page. Now the page is the actual iPad site. So let's say we clicked on a TV show and we select it, I don't know, this one, and we pretty much hit watch video. So now it's going to load up. Uh, they want you to do 27 seconds of waiting, unless you're a VIP member, obviously. Uh, this works on great on Android and iOS devices. Um, it's a great service. It's got like 67 shows uh, that you could stream, but I wanted to find a way to stream it from my desktop browser. And then maybe later on when this Chromecast uh, works for tabs and uh, desktops, it works great. So here's the show. It's actually playing, no commercials, DVD quality. Um, there's no sign up, no nothing. You just pretty much play the show. So that's that, and uh, let's close that out. So now you know about user agent, so you could switch back and forth uh, to whatever you like. Uh, you can switch to any device you want. Um, and that's nice. So we'll go back to Chrome default and that will be the desktop page and uh, that's pretty nice so that was pretty much Chromecast uh, now let me show you Chromecast on your Google TV and I'll show you how great that works so let's just make sure we stop casting this page to our Kindle and we change it over to Google TV and you're gonna see now the Google TV is gonna take over the, the video it says desktop has connected and it's gonna start playing the video on our Google TV that does not have a Chromecast dongle. Uh, like I said, it's built right in. So obviously it is a Chrome sort of app. Uh, it's built on Chrome, uh, but you know they say it's built on Android as well, but I guess it has to do with Chrome. And there it is. The video is playing right on my Google TV. So I'm going to pause that, and uh, or you could pause it from the actual uh, YouTube app on the desktop. So now I'm going to show you the Android app that allows you to AirPlay your iOS device uh, video over to the Android device. It's called AirTight. Basically, you do the same thing. You click Settings, you name the device, and I have it set so that it boots up automatically and runs in the background. So with that running in the background, you can basically hit the AirPlay button on one of your videos. Let's turn this sideways full screen. Uh, this is a video from tech reviews I'm uh, playing uh, he has some good videos uh, and I uh, actually won this uh, giveaway so uh, he's a friend for life now and basically you hit the airplay button down at the bottom here and you'll see that it says air Kindle HD that's what I named it in airtight so basically now we're gonna hit air Kindle HD and you're gonna see it'll start playing on, Google Watch also lets you locate your phone with we will be playing it right here on our Android Watch device, coming straight from Japanese here. So there's my video. Let me pause this. So there's our video uh, showing you how to get your iOS video over to your Android device. Uh, this also works on the Google TV with the um, built-in Chromecast. And uh, that's pretty much it. So I hope that I helped you out in any way in these videos. If you liked it, make sure you... Uh, share, like, and subscribe, and I will see you on my next video. Thank you.